Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, you are going to explore what are context receivers, these awesome new features by Kotlin, and how you can use them in Agile. Let's get started. So context receivers is a new experimental feature by Kotlin. It was added in, I think, 1.6, Kotlin 1.6. So make sure you have a Kotlin version above that. And for that reason, they are not directly available. You have to add them as part of Kotlin options. You go to your Gradle stuff here, and here you can see we are using something called Kotlin options. Here we can add something called free compile args and we shall add things to this. And this is a simple list. So we can add things to it. You can do it like the following and we will add the following. X context receivers. This is parameter for the compiler args. Okay, now we can sync our project. Awesome. Now you can use this feature whenever you are defining a function. Before that, let's understand what do we mean by context. Now, let's say that I have a function and I wanted to use some properties that are in certain scope, okay? For example, let's say I'm having a function called toast, for example, let's say I want to do a toast, all right? Then, of course, in order to do toast, you need two things. You need a string and you need a context, right? So you can do toast like the following, dot make text. Here we need the context and the string. Now, let's make, for example, the string as what we call the receiver. This is an extension function of string. What does it mean? Is that I can use a string in this function, right? I can have the string as this, which is the second, and I can do the show. Now, the only problem here is that context, right? Because this is the second, third parameter, right? Previously, we did something like context here instead of string, then the string would be here, and then we pass the data here, right? And then we can use the data like that. And with this, I can do toast directly with hello, okay? Because I'm calling this toast on this context. This is, we call the receive here because here the activity has context, right? But what if I want to do this string here instead, okay? And still, I don't want to pass the context there. What I can do is that I can add property of this function to make it callable in certain context. So I want this function still with this apply to only string. I want to call it only from context. What I can do, I can define a context. This is the property you get by activating that compile args. And here you can give it what is the context you want to call it from. Here in this case, I want to call it from the context context. This is weird, context context. Anyways, and here while we have problem here, what do you mean by this? Do you mean this string or this context? You can copy this one, make add context like that. And this data, we don't have any data. It is this of the string, right? And boom. Now you can call this toast immediately from the hello. It means I can do hello dot toast. What beauty. Now the magic isn't only that. Let's say you want to use the same function in another context. We can also add context or make combined context in order to call this function. For example, I can only call this function when I am in a context. And let's take another example, I don't know, an int, for example. Okay, so it means this wouldn't work, right? How you can make it work? Well, you can simply do the width. The width function is awesome for such a thing. I can call it with five. So this would be an int here. So I can call the toast here because it is in the context of context and an int. Okay, sorry for using two contexts at the same time. So this is the actual example on how to provide the context directly here. We'll see another example with the box in Jetpack Compose. So here you can see we are passing that T, which is the one, as a context for this lambda. So it can use it here, all right? Let's take another example, okay? So if you remember, if you are using Jetpack Compose, you know that there is some modifiers that can apply only to certain scope. For example, the alignment, all right? Let's say you have a surface, and here in this surface, right, I want to use, for example, the align modifier. I can pass the modifier, of course. And here I want to use the align. Here the align, if you press Alt Enter, you'll see there is alignment for box instance, for column scope, and also for row scope. If you use one of these, it won't work. So this would never work, even if I pass anything here, for example, alignment dot anything, it wouldn't work. Center vertically, center horizontally, it won't work, okay? But if I pass this into certain context, which is the box context, for example, here, this function would work, like you see, it is working, just I'm passing the wrong stuff, okay? So here, it can accept only alignment center, for example. This would work perfectly. But if I remove it from here, it wouldn't work. Why? Because this align only work in specific context or scope. 
you can see, but it is implemented differently. Huh? Here you can see in this modifier, I implemented it in the box scope. So you can call this function unless you are in the box scope. And guess what? Here in this box, right, it allow you to run to execute this lambda within the box scope. That's why you are able to call such a method. They implement it this way. They are not using context receivers here, but they can do so like the following, for example. Let's pretend I'm having an interface, for example, and let's call it my box. Okay. And here I want to apply a modifier. Let's call it my modifier. And this modifier, I want it to be applied only when you are in the context of my box, right? I don't have to put it inside my box. I can put it outside. And guess what? I can use the context. And guess what? What is the context? When you are, whenever you are with my box here, okay? And here, let's kind of return a modifier. Actually, you can return this, the same modifier. So we are acting as we are creating modifier. Now, if you use this modifier here, it won't work. Why? Because it's not in that scope. There is no required context found. Like, I'm not in the context of this my box. How can I pass this box? You can do the same trick. Let's make a composable function. For example, let's call it my box, for example. This is a simple thing. And here in the same context, I'm going to put content. And here I can use my box dot scope, for example. And I can call content, for example, like that. And here, of course, it would require the actual implementation of the box, but it doesn't matter. This is just an example. You can delete it. Now, what I'm saying is that we can call my box here, right? And instead of passing the content like that, I can put the surface here. This wouldn't work because this isn't composable. Let me just put a composable part here. Now you can see it is working and my modifier also is working because I am in that scope, okay? That's the idea behind this scope. So actually, what does it mean to have such a thing? Now it means you can add context directly to function without including them into some kind of object to make them constrained to certain objects. And this is really, really cool in order to make our code more cleaner and more expressive. That's the beauty of Kotlin. Now you can immediately jump into function, add the context immediately with this one, use this context here inside the function as we are using the context here, the connectivity manager, we are not using the connectivity manager. So that's the basic idea. So this is basically it for this awesome feature by Kotlin. Now you can add this tool to your toolbox to create expressive and cleaner code in Kotlin. This is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video at the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.